All right, just thought I'd show you some really good books that I have in my bookshelf exposing the Roman Catholic Church and the Jesuit order, exposing the satanic Greco-Roman pagan cult that is the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church is condemned as Mystery Babylon in Revelation 17 and 18. And the Roman Catholic Church was started by the Council of Satan, and all it is is simply just a repackaging of pagan Greco-Roman religion. And like I said earlier, it was founded not by Jesus Christ, but from the council, councils of Satan, basically. But, got some uh, four good books here, exposing the Catholic Church, and there's others too, but these are some good ones I have in my bookshelf. The first one is uh, by Dr. Peter S. Ruckman, and I don't agree with him on everything, but he has a really good book here called Why I Am Not a Catholic, and the book shows uh, precisely why he's not a Catholic, and it shows basically that the Catholic Church is completely unscriptural and unbiblical, and really why no Bible-believing Christian ought to have anything to do with the Roman Catholic Church. Because the Roman Catholic Church is not a Christian church, it's a pagan cult. The other book is also by Dr. Peter Ruckman called The Corrupt Catholic Cult, and it basically shows, it's a survey, on it says on the front cover, it's a survey of the official teachings of Pope John Paul II since Vatican II, and it shows how basically they're teaching cultic type of things, and that the Catholic Church is basically a cult. And Bible-believing Christians for centuries have always believed that the Roman Catholic Church is a satanic cult, but even if they didn't believe that, the scriptures still condemn the Catholic Church. In Revelation 17, 18, and Jeremiah 44, it identifies the goddess that the Catholics worship and the Jesuits worship. And this other book is also by Dr. Peter Ruckham. It's called Rome, the Great Private Interpreter. And because the Roman Catholics and the Jesuits always love to go on about how, oh, you, sh you shouldn't do you'd be doing private interpretations. You should rely on the church to interpret the scriptures for you. Well, this book shows eight different examples of private interpretation being done by the Roman Catholic Church. So showing what hypocrites they are. But of course, with the Jesuits, what do you expect? Hypocrisy is something they're really good at. And the best book I have, the bigger one, it's called, oops, hit my mic. It's called The Two Babylons by Alexander Hislop. This version is actually, it contains uh, pictures, I think. I'm trying to find the, yeah, this one uh, has pictures in it. Let's see it better. This one contains pictures showing the Babylonian pagan practices of Roman Catholicism, and it also goes through a lot of the Catholic doctrines, such as work salvation, baptismal regeneration, all these Catholic heresies, showing how they're pagan in origin. The thing of, of working your way to heaven, or, or God judging your salvation by your works, come from paganism, they show that. The pagan Egyptians believe the same thing that Babylonians believed, that the gods would judge your salvation based on your works, uh, the heresy of baptismal regeneration that also comes from paganism, the, the idea of your sins being washed away by water. Yeah, it's paganism. It comes from uh, Greco-Roman paganism, Egyptian paganism. Shows how a bunch of other heresies, such as the mass, uh, parading around relics and icons, which are really just idolatry. I mean, the Catholics will vehemently deny, oh, we're not idolaters. But when it comes down to it, they are idolaters. Okay? You're parading around a little statue, you're kissing pictures of it, you're pouring incense on it. By biblical standards, that is idolatry. You can see that in Deuteronomy chapter 4. It talks about how, you know, you're not supposed to pray to the hosts of heaven and, you know, burn incense to them. And hosts of heaven are angels and, and that kind of thing. So when you're, praying to an, when you're praying to Mary and the saints, you're praying to the hosts of heaven, which is a sin. And of course, Exodus uh, 20 verses 4 to 5 is a really strong condemnation of the Catholic Church because they're not supposed to make any images of anything in heaven above or earth beneath. Acts, 17, Acts chapter 17 verse 26 condemns the Catholic images and idolatry of the Godhead because you're not supposed to have any image of the Godhead. So many other scriptures. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1 is another good one which condemns the idol idolatry of the Roman Catholic Church. There's plenty about this as well. Another good one is Psalms uh, 15. It has one there, Psalms 135. Sorry, Psalms 115, Psalms 135. Also contains some good ones. Good verses condemning the Catholic idolatry, which are which are disguised as relics and idols. So those are some good books. So yeah, it's The Two Babylons by Alexander Hislop. Sorry, I hit my face there. Uh, Rome, The Great Private Interpreter by Peter S. Ruckman. And the two other books are the 
Corrupt Catholic Cult and Why I'm Not a Catholic, also by Dr. Peter Ruckman. And again, don't agree with him on everything, but he's bang on with these books exposing the pagan cult that is the Jesuits and the Roman Catholic Church. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism and check out these books. There's others too, The Secret History, History of the Jesuits by, uh, I think it's uh, Edmund Paris is another good one. The Vatican's Holocaust by, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, but it's another good one as well. It shows how the Eustachi, the Catholic Jesuit run Eustachi, uh, was committing a Holocaust. They even horrified the Nazi officers. Yeah, it's called the Vatican's Holocaust. I think it's, um, yeah, I can't remember the guy's name. I, th I think it's like Avril Manhattan or something, but the Catholics, they hate that book. Uh, there's other good ones too. Uh, Chick Publications, which I don't support the ministry, but they do have some good books on the Catholic Church, exposing it and exposing the Jesuits, and also exposing their connections to Islam too the Arabian moon cult that is Islam, which was of course started by Jesuits, or not Jesuits, but Catholic Augustinian monks, and because the Jesuits didn't exist until hundreds of years later, but the Jesuits now use Islam as like a boogeyman now, and the Jesuits, they use Islam to flood Europe with Islamic migrants to displace the ethnic white Europeans, because it's part of the Jesuit agenda of white genocide, which ties into the Antichrist agenda, which not gonna get too much into that. So those are the books I wanted to show you. Uh, feel free to check them out. You can get them. I got two Babylons off of Amazon, but the the books by Peter Ruckman exposing Jesuits and the Catholic Church I got off Bible Baptist Bookstore. And so check them out. They're pretty good, pretty informative. Um, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.